Hi guys, it's True here, bringing you another gameplay video. This one is the all-time classic on the Spectrum. It's Jetpack by Ultimate Play the Game. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ultimate Play the Game eventually did evolve into Rare, uh, who sadly have now been destroyed by Microsoft. <laughs> this is one of the early games in 1983. The early 80s were like a golden time for Ultimate Play the Game. They just released game after game, which were which was like massive step above the quality of everybody else and uh, they just pushed the early spectrum to its um, to its absolute limit at that time uh, which is really really good now um, basic premise of this game is it's all it's all set on one screen you have to first start off by um, reorganizing your spaceship and then you have to pick up fuel and drop it in there to take off and once you take off you take off and then reland on the same screen with a different kind of enemy to be um, after so many refueling exercises you then um, change ship and you have to rebuild the ship again and so on and so on um, it's it says two player there it's not two player simultaneous it's just take take turns and I'm not sure what the keys are so um, it's when well, as soon as I start I'm gonna try and have to, have to figure out the keys first of all so the first game is gonna be pretty brief and I'm gonna die so let's have a look Uh, right, so let's click on Q as Frost. Um, oh shit, no, <laughs> took a lot of time to figure out the keys. Uh, Q as Frost, no. Okay, that's left, right. That's left, right, fire, Frost. Alright, I've got it, I've got it. Weird, weird, oh. No, that's not, that's not good. Um, yeah, that's better. That's better. Right, we'll have a go properly now. So yeah, we start off there as little Mr. Jetpack. Oh shit, I forgot I forgot the controls again. What an ass. No. No. Oh god. Fucking oh, Hold on a minute. I'll tell you about this guys. Right, that's better, that's more natural. Yeah, right, let's get killed. Right, take three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God, I'll get my coat. Uh, right, you can um, drop the ship pieces and fuel by just floating above the ship can't be destroyed by enemies and here comes my fuel cells this level is pretty straightforward you do get random items dropping which are just for purposes of points so it's a it's a, good, it's a really good score attack game I know it's all set on one screen but the graphics are pretty good I mean you've got a clearly defined you know main sprite nice selection of colours on the screen, I mean each of the enemies is a different colour um, not an awful lot of clash going on as well, I mean obviously when the enemies fly through the ship and such there's a little bit of nasty clash going on there now, the lasers, lasers pretty impressive as well, I mean the sound is just epic, I mean just nice how it's just different random colours same as when you like um, on a surface as well, watch when I take off like a little puff of smoke just little details like that, it's just just really really clever and uh, once you get the last piece of fuel uh, and you have to just get into your ship then and we take off then it's supposed to be a different planet but obviously limitations and all something I had to give really so it's the same screen got to get the fuel again but this time it's a different enemy with different movement patterns and that's the crux of the game really um, some enemies are more aggressive than others oh shit 
Now generally that top right platform is considered one of the safe havens of the game. It's not 100% safe as you've just um, seen me get massacred up there. But it's pretty safe. I mean, nobody else at the time was producing graphics like this on the Spectrum. You had blocks and blips and stickmen and stuff, but I mean, here we've got like a clearly defined spaceman. You can tell it's a spaceman, and the, like I say, the jetpack events, um, effects or events uh, are just really, really good. Uh, one last bit of fuel to get. Horrible when they're at the edge of the screen because. Sometimes the enemies can randomly spawn. There you go. And down we go again. I'm not sure how many times you have to repeat this till you get a new ship, and then I think there's um, four or five ships that you've got to do it on. And uh, what we've got now? Bubbles. Ooh, ooh, nearly got me. <laughs> I don't think, it, oh shit, I don't think there's any scope for getting ah, extra lives or not. I don't think there is. But um, it is mainly a score attack game, really. There's no end to the game. I mean, when you do clear everything possible. All different ship variants, all different alien variants, you just reset back down to the very first wave again and just continue trying to get the highest score possible. And uh, right, I've got to go down there and get that now. There we go. One more. And off we go. This is the fourth one of this ship. Let's see if this is the final one. Mm -hmm. Bloody emails. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, I hate these guys. They kind of hover. I mean, when you get in line with them, they zoom and attack you. It's quite a clever enemy for an, an early game, to be honest with you. Horrible enemy, though, as well. Fuel. Well, there it is, I thought it glitched out then. One more. It had to be over there, didn't it? Right, let's let's drop this one right on the ship. Oh shit, no. There we go. And off we go again. Yeah, there we go, second ship, this one's more like a space shuttle. Oh god, we've got really erratic UFO enemies now. Same principle, once the ship's constructed, um, we get the fuel. You see, these guys are quite clever at actually chasing me. It's probably the hardest enemy so far, this. Let's try and get off these as quick as possible. Oh, shit. I get the fuel. Oh, no. Set of fuel. Mm. 
no! <laughs> well, that was a case of either I can only escape or get killed there. I edged my bets and I lost. Got one more guy, one more life left, guys, anyway, so. Let's see what's next. Crosses. These seem to head in the same direction until they hit something. Oh shit. Oh, anyway, guys, that's the game over there. I'll leave that there. That was um, Ultimate, not Ultimate Play the Game. That was Ultimate Play the Game's Jetpack on the ZX Spectrum. Absolute all time classic. Thanks for watching. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it.